Hey, eighth graders. This is the clubhouse edition of Energy. So when I'm done, I'm going down the slide. But for now, we need to talk about some different types of energy. The other day, as long as you haven't, you know, electrocuted yourselves by putting a fork or a knife into an outlet. Gosh dang, my mount's not staying. There we go. Nope. Work with it. Okay. There we go. I love that I don't edit these videos. You get to see life real and raw. So if you're still watching, we're going to talk about a couple of other types of energy today. So the first one is chemical energy. That's energy stored in chemical bonds. So right here, I've got a propane cylinder. And here I've got a torch. So the propane, the chemical bonds, they store energy. So then when you go ahead and you break those bonds, whew, you release a different type of energy, which would be thermal energy, okay? So the chemical energy sometimes results in thermal energy being released. Protein bar, guess what? It says chemical energy in it too. Your body goes ahead and releases chemical energy through the process of cellular respiration. Learned about that last year. Nuclear energy, we don't really think about it, but guess what, Mr. Sunshine? That's how he works. And what happens in our sun is the sun is taking a small amount of mass as it takes two hydrogen particles that smash together in a fusion reaction to release ridiculous amounts of energy. That's basically what drives all processes here on Earth. So that's nuclear energy. Then we have mechanical energy. So I have my hatchet here. And if I was really skilled, I could go ahead and throw this and go ahead and get stuck in a tree or in someone's foot or I don't really know. But as something is in motion, usually has two types of energy. It has potential energy because it has height. It also has kinetic energy because it has velocity. Well, when you add those two together, it's called mechanical energy. Last but not least, geothermal energy. If you've ever heard of like hot springs or a geothermal well, or well, basically Yellowstone runs on this. Geothermal energy is energy that's found from the internal processes of our planet. So with addition to potential and kinetic energy and electrical energy, we also have one, two, three, four, five other types of energy that you should be able to distinguish. So right now I'm gonna get rid of the hatchet and then we're gonna go down the slide. You know what? I'm even gonna bring you with me. Oh, I hope you don't get motion sickness. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh okay. We're gonna turn. Oh, here we go. Whee! Oh, my hips are too big. Oh. And with that, I hope you have a great day.